Give me your name and your Instagram handle. Hell yeah, Blake Alexander. Blake and at Black Blake Alexander comedy and Wake and Blake Pod. So, uh, how'd it go? Uh, dude, it was fun. It was very fun. It was just amazing that going this is my second time being on and just the difference. Again, you can almost feel like leading up to it and uh, and it, to get a little time behind stage and almost last time it felt like I was just like almost dying. I felt like I like, couldn't even like catch my breath. But this yeah. time, you know, it was amazing to actually just kind of collect my breath and just like almost be able to just treat it like a set. Of course, a, a, you know, an amazing set. Um, but I got yeah. It was nice to get a couple minutes as well to hear the kind of crowd a little bit and just almost oh yeah, just go actually get the privilege of you know again just that little experience of getting a little moment before and then it was just fucking sick, dude. Uh, yeah, the minute honestly, again, of course it's I'm not fucking being a dick, but it was like it went as well as I kind of could have hoped. Uh, you know, you forget you, you, after being a trench creature in the open mics and doing these, you you forget you know not not having five jaded comics and you know. Of course, just like a host and, and some people who don't give a fuck about the show. Like, it's actually amazing to just have an audience of people. It's a privilege to be on the show. It's a privilege to be in front of a 300 people that are, that paid to see comedy, love comedy. That's why they're watching the fucking show. So it's really, it's it's a privilege to, to even just have the set. Better yet, of course, for them to put it out as a part of the show. And honestly, dude, it's just like, it's amazing. You forget you can get laughs on premises. You forget, like, people who don't watch comedy four times a day and don't live in it. They're like, they're just excited for fun ideas and fun concepts, even before you're getting a punchline. So it's like, again, at a level, the set was a blast. And... Again, I, in the interview last time, I talked about how I fucked trannies, and, and this time I talked about how I was, uh, this, you know, this time I talked about how I was addicted to sex work and just how I'm a psycho and how I quit that when I quit alcohol. So again, I'm sharing, I'm connecting, I'm expressing, brother. That's all I'm trying to do out here. So. Where was the last time? Uh, what venue? It was. I was like the fourth show at the Mothership. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, so I was like early, and now it's amazing to see. I've seen it grow, and of course, and so many amazing things have happened in this venue and obviously it's like and it's so fun that i was here for these last six shows they did you know they just did a bunch of filmed a bunch of shows near each other it's just amazing to uh to have been there for every six all six and then on the last on the last show at the towards the end of the show to get pulled it's like it's just a what of a beautiful gift from the universe i couldn't i could have obviously not even hoped for it's amazing oh, no. what they say any, any memorable parts of the interview um yeah i mean tony's disbelief <laughs> and uh the idea that there are some of these some sex workers are genuinely oh, gorgeous. I said unbelievable, and he's like, uh, I mean, at a level, of course, obviously, you guys will see it. But at a level, it was very fun to just uh, talk so openly about something so crazy and kind of so vulnerable but, or intimate as well. And like, yeah, yeah. normally, you know, you don't even talk to your one one person or a couple people about that. And it's very fun to just share with the group of people and to see women literally in the crowd be like, ah! and women like all the women hated me, but hey, the guys maybe liked a little. <laughs> I liked and, it decent. Yeah, yeah, and, and he again, he said last time, he's like, oh, did I give you a small joke book last time? I don't know. I think he just didn't remember me at all. He's kind of said that. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, no, I got a big joke on the first time, which I was grateful for, but I thought I also kind of earned. And then this time, again, it was just like, a, it was a fun set, man, fun interview. I'm fucking happy to be alive, happy to have the opportunity. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. How long have you been in comedy? Four years. Okay, how long, uh, how many times have you started up at uh, Kill Tony? It, uh, probably 50 times now. It probably, took, wow. it probably took 30 times to get on the first time. I was at Vulcan for like dozens of shows. And, um, and then I was like, fuck, and then I went to Rogan. I'm like, well, I guess my first time will be at Rogan. How can I argue with the universe at a level? It's always right. And then again, and now it's been another 20 times or eight months, but like, it's definitely pretty consistently signing up, whatever. And um, But it's just amazing to, you know, again, I just love that we're, we're out here. And again, I just love, I love, again, how can I complain? It's amazing. Yeah. It's, an, it's an amazing thing that's happening here in Austin generally. And this show, of course, is the craziest comedy opportunity in the history of the galaxy. It's literally insane. Yeah, yeah. It's so unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Back? Absolutely, dude. I'll be here fucking next. I'll be at the arena shows at the end of the year. We'll see if I get pulled. Great job. Fuck yeah.